get the fuck out of here. Anyways, I'll be doing Ludwig this time. Overtime, episode number two. This time, uh... I had to prepare myself differently because it's a dude. So it uh, doesn't meet uh, the normal criteria of being popular for nine plus years. He's not a Disney princess. He doesn't have a team behind him that could just uh, pop him out, you know, by force into the tr stratosphere of popularity. He had to actually build character and figure out a way to be popular somehow. He actually has been uploading on YouTube for seven years and it will take quite a while to get there actually to the very bottom because that's where we, we're gonna start or should we do it backwards no we, we will not we will not do it backwards so these two criteria technically for girls and disney princesses i guess that that not not always a girl but uh uh he beats these two criteria. I will show you the second one. The first one is pretty straightforward. But the first one actually is hidden by YouTube right now. If you just look into the channel, it's like... How many how many videos did he upload? Do I click on this laughing face? Did he hit all the videos? Well, you need the vidIQ for this shit again. And we click here, click here, we get all the videos. 1,200. The requirement is 1,000. So he meets that, that's cool. And he has been uploading for more than uh, four years. That's uh, nice. It's almost like a double criteria, but, you know. I'm just trying to make sure that, they, that the person did not just upload it, you know, 1,000 videos in two years, for example. Uh, someone like like myself, I will probably upload that many videos, but whatever. Uh, I will never be pop. I, I will never ma meet these criteria, so that's fine. Anyways, what is Clipper? Uh, thanks for not asking. Well, uh, when you look into data, you're trying to find like the most uh, consistent thing in data, and something like certain types of items like spoons forks tables i don't know cats sometimes i started with cats i just type in a cat and it's like very very consistent so uh the last thing i checked was like manager and managers are on the rise apparently so that's not very consistent but at the same time it it, it does serve a purpose right like the popularity of a person has to be bigger right it's not really I just like consistency, so I'll take the clipper, the ultimate. It starts off with like around 19, I guess. Actually ends up a little bit more popular recently. So that's cool. I hope it's not because of some NBA team or whatever. Well, it's, it's the most consistent thing that I found. I hope it works. And I, yeah, we can look into f last five years, so Ludwig is actually better than the Clipper a little bit. It's like water level, and he has this island, this red island. We can just remove manager. It should look a little better. Here it is, the water level. Very, very consistent stuff, right? It's crazy. And then you have this spiky island. Very ugly, too. <laughs> we're gonna probably discover what these spikes mean. But uh, we're gonna go way deeper than five years. Way beyond Ludwig's inception, which is 2019, technically. Google would say uh, he became popular in 2018, but I don't know. I don't see it that way, clearly. So, I hope you guys are excited. He has uh, 4 million subscribers. He's pretty big already, at least in my subscription box. Uh, I'm not a happy subscriber, okay? I'm not watching every single video he uploads. He uploads 4 videos a week, on average. And now, 
Now we go deep, guys. Now we dig. I don't think uh, four minutes is gonna be enough, but uh, just to give you guys the scoopy scoop. The vibe. One year, baby. Two years. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> okay. You just destroy the vibe, because the moment he was becoming popular is the moment he started uploading on YouTube, clearly. Uh, no. No, not like this. No. Oh, yeah, clearly. Okay. However, we still have some weird content from long time ago, and I wonder what can I do with that? I guess I could make an exception. In this case, it's actually less than uh, three years, unfortunately, which means, well, he, he does upload lives as well, but I don't think he has been doing that uh, for a long time, because, like, uh, he was just supposed to up upload uh, clips and not lives. He started live streaming on YouTube, I believe, ish. I don't even know, to be honest. I j well, I, I do know. He uploads the lives here. I just don't know if how he splits the audience because he can uh, live stream on Twitch and on YouTube now or something. Uh, I don't, I really don't care about lives, okay? And that actually boosts his uh, uh, video count as well, which is annoying. So I probably should consider cutting it in half if someone is making lives or cutting it. 30% and that would also uh, not meet the criteria all of a sudden if I do that. And this 1200 videos turn into 840. Is that a good idea? I don't know, man. However, technically, right? Oh, I can see exactly how many videos he uploaded. That's cool, that's cool. Let's see. Maybe Ludwig actually has a chance. So, uh... Um... Three years ago and forward. So that's almost like four years ago, technically. 
because in YouTube terms it's like very awkward. All right, we go down months ago until one year ago, then another gap. So we have like four chunks, right, of stuff. So the fourth chunk is 222 videos. Let's see if we can do it. 200, 391 videos two years ago. So we was uploading way more than uh, once a day. Which is, I, I have to cut it. This is a limitation, all right? There's a limitation. I'll, I'll even have a, you know, I'll even give vacation. Two weeks of vacation, please take that, bro. No, no upload ever. Even Sniper Wolf doesn't upload that much. You know, way. One year ago, 363. I'll give him another. And then months. So, uh, month, 188, all right, we're not going to count the last month, unfortunately, that way, we could say days, but like, who cares, and uh, what do we get, we get a number, guys, we got a number, four chunks, four years, and we got a decent number. So actually, this video is going to happen, as you can already tell by the length of it and by the fact that uh, only 5% of the audience is left. God damn it. Again, bro? Again? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, so now we can do our thing. The way we're going to do this thing is we're going to try and climb upwards as far as we can. And as fast as we can, because there's a lot to climb. Uh, again, he uploaded almost daily in two years. Midway, basically. Oh, that's fancy. Uh, so if I see something that I want to click on, I will click and talk about it. I just need to 10 evaluations and it shouldn't be that difficult, right? We'll see. I'm completely, you know, cold turkey. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's uh, begin. Shit. That's not how you use cold turkey, man. God damn it. What do I use then? I'm I'm a noob. I have to say that I'm a noob. I don't get it, bro. But I am not addicted to Ludwig yet. Or am I? Because I subscribed. I don't... <sighs> God damn it. Obviously the first thing I notice is uh, him playing Smash Bros. So we have to click one of those videos to see what's up. Uh, there is his face right here. He's actually commentating? What? Did he got a job commentating on combos and stuff? That is... That is freaky, man. Anyone wants a job like that. Alright, so the first evaluation begins. Let's see what we can click on. I click on this and it's trash. So what about this long video? The first longest video above 10 minutes, pretty much. All right, all right. The first video above 10 minutes. Then this shows up. Quick, quick, quick. So what's important here is that he is uh, he has taken a job and who lo who knows how long he has been working in just uh, commentating on uh, Smash Bros. Is, is that the name? I, I don't play the game. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> Let me check. Yeah, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I wasn't far off. But it, it felt so uncomfortable. Because I know Super Mario Bros. is a thing. And it just mixes up those names like crazy. So, yeah, it's important to understand that he has been commentator for a long time, too. 
potentially longer than we actually know. And uh, that gives him a lot of skills to do streaming too. Because he has to actually talk live and all that stuff. So he warmed up pretty well when it comes to streaming. When it comes to talking live and entertaining the audience and reacting to things, I guess. This is kind of cool story. I've, I didn't know about that part of Ludwig's life. I don't know, man. It's my accomplishment. Also, this is a stream on Twitch. So uh, Ludwig has been secretly, you know, warming up to just uh, detach and do his own thing. That's what we're going to be able to see. Uh, that thing. Right? Not really, because uh, he didn't really upload that much. Just went into streaming just like that. And we don't know uh, the transition whatsoever. I guess... The first stream he did was this one? Because everything else... Uh, it's kind of nonsense. So potentially has been streaming plenty of... Well, I thought it was Smash Bros, but it's not. It's something else. I mean, who would want to do Smash Bros after years and years watching people play that game? Especially now that we know... Uh, Ludwig is more of a variety person. <sighs> yeah, pretty good example of why I don't want to watch streamers. I don't know where to look, by the way. I don't know what to do. If I just skip to random... Okay, clear, but I don't... Why am I... Why is it always clearing? What is happening? Also, why is he calling himself a speedrunner? That is weird. Why would why would he want to speedrun games like that? Oh, it's so cringe, man. I don't like it. I hope it doesn't do that anymore. Ooh. What the drama just? I sound like I'm- I'm just ranking! No. Yeah, I need to rank hottest 13 year olds too. No, that's not what's happening here. But like... I mean, uh... Sure. I mean, 17 year old or 16 year old is acceptable and people just blow up anyways. That's cool. This actually knocks me into a spiral of checking out. What is that age where you can actually say someone is hot? But uh, yeah, it's just the question I will have now. Because it has to be below 16, in fact, even below that. You know, I know people will flip around and smash their heads onto the floor. But, well, yeah, you wouldn't. Well, cute? Wait, did he change? What? Yeah, that, the power of controversy, guys. But then it doesn't actually make any sense anymore. That is hilarious, though. Probably S tier. This is cool because, uh,. Maybe he just watched the tutorial, but this is like Photoshop. All done in Photoshop, and you can like quickly edit this coolness thing, which is now coolness. It used to be cute or hot. Now it's coolness. Cool. I mean, whatever. Ultimate combo video. He still played it here three years ago. Mm. So, after this video, his hair is a yellow or blonde. 
Make back games playable? How? What is this? I'm already tripping. Because this is as basic as it gets. Duh. Funny enough, this would take uh, at least uh, two years of experience. And uh, probably a couple of weeks of programming and putting everything together. This tower. Press X. Yo, this is a great idea! Uh, and thank you, Tarchwood, for- They can play videos on a green wall now? What the hell? The great idea. Alright, so now we're getting to the evaluation part. Whenever the clock hits 1500, the evaluation stops and we have 246. Every time I click on a thumbnail, every time I have a commentary or a reaction of some kind, I click. And uh, Dove has uh, collected a lot, but uh, maybe for girls it's a lot easier. I'm not sure. We will never know until uh, we make plenty of evaluations of different people. So uh, we have 246 now. I will try and watch all the content that makes any sense to me, right? From the th thumbnail and title and the amount of views that it has. Uh, mostly just views. If it has a lot of views, I'll look into the rest of the stuff and click if I decide to. This is interesting, but uh, yeah. Once we have 10 evaluations, we will be removing and replacing the lowest evaluation with the... if it's a higher number. And that way uh, we can improve it a little bit because it's over time. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the overtime part. Even though overtime also means just looking at everything uh, of what happened over time. But it's gonna be double overtime. I can't wait. Pipe? Next! What? <laughs> wait, what? Even I cannot make sense of this. This is insanity, dude. Is he actually racing against other players? I, I mean, uh, yeah, now, now I'm seeing things, guys. Now I'm seeing things I've never seen before. But that's what it takes to be a cool streamer, I guess. Minimize it and make it up the windows. And look Fucking clicking is now not off limits for strategy and complexity clicking oh my god i hope those skills are useful man let me tell you origin story origin story guys yeah, everybody keeps bringing up the fucking zany sidekick and entertain people uh he got fired like twice and uh he applied to like 500 jobs the f before he was fired the first time to only get one yes you you can work with us you know out of 500 applications i don't think this is acceptable in society this is what makes uh, you know it's the same thing find a girlfriend find a job just keep sending out applications maybe something something will stick this is so unacceptable at this point it's not my job to get a job it's not my job what are you talking about? Just give me randomly fucking generated garbage and uh, let me craft some skills over time. It's unbelievable. But uh, here we go. He finally broke through, right? Because, like, yeah, he even tells you, like, oh, wow, you have to actually move to a special location if you get a job. Like, yeah, that's, it's crazy. Even that is scary enough. Like, what? I don't want to move. I'll just rot in my mom's basement. You will find a little skeleton in the corner. When you... you next time you'll see me. Alright. Fuck this shit, bro. There's no... I have no motivation for that shit. It's unbelievable. What do you have to do sometimes? I have... 
What? Why did it chose pretty crazy revenue for a month? And he's just uh showing that that would trigger a lot of people, man. With this amount of viewers, still 3k. This is like the month number five or something of him streaming. Oh boy. Second evaluation, 265. A little bit higher. But the origin story is about to end. The most exciting part, obviously. Which should be somehow featured on the channel, but, you know. No one knows how to use YouTube anyways. Even YouTube itself doesn't know how to YouTube. <laughs> Alright, I see uh, a few numbers we can divide. 3,000 by 150, and then we're gonna get our rate. And, uh, it's kinda 20. It's kinda 20, guys. $20 an hour is, uh, the job that he had in, in five months, apparently, in a few months, maybe six months. He's like, uh, oh, it's a job now. $20 an hour. Okay. Obviously, it's not that easy. You have to have skills to satisfy customers and all that stuff. So they don't go somewhere else and you get outcompeted. You have to go uh, balls deep, basically. And learn everything there is to learn about streaming. I actually had wanted to do. So, yeah. <laughs> Inflation, guys. You know what? What the worst thing about inflation is not having a job. Yeah, thanks, Ludwig, for sharing whatever. He got fired three times, except from Best Buy. Hmm? Yeah, even that is just unacceptable. Not only just applying to jobs, but also getting fired from them. Uh, like what? It's crazy. Or just burning out, and all all sorts of things that can happen to you, and. Despite how hard it was to get there. <laughs> Come on, man. There's no motivation to live a life anymore. Come on, bro. I'm sure this trend didn't fucking change whatsoever. And uh, now everyone wants to be a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. That is probably the only educational part we're gonna experience from Ludwig. Everything else is just gonna be... Uh, Mm, mashed potatoes. I don't know. I had to say something, but like, it's it's not gonna be education anymore. It's gonna be gaming related or entertainment related. The best case, right? Entertainment, best case. If it's just gaming entertainment, uh, it's it's not gonna be educational whatsoever. But we'll see. That's what I'm looking for, you know. If it's just gonna be gaming, it's not gonna even trigger me to click a button anymore. Not only uh, this was this was a cringy part talking about getting laid, but do you see what's cringy? What what's cringy here? Can you spot a problem? He's playing Minecraft. Yes. It's absolute darkness. Well, what is he doing? This is not normal. <laughs> All right, this is uh, kind of decent. He he requests songs from uh, viewers, and if the song is too bad, and people vote no all the time, uh, or uh, below 30% vote yes, which means no, then uh, the person gets banned. And I, I will also get banned for not being able to explain this in under 20 seconds. Yeah, that's a very interesting concept. Asking people for music. Like, uh, now I'm excited to do the whole thing. Just dig through the nonsense and find stuff like this. 
unfortunately, I have to rely on the views. If it has this many views, I can't click really because it's just invisible to me. I look at the views while I go up. And if something like that stands out, which it did, then I probably have to watch this too. Yeah. Exciting now. Anyways, that was the evaluation number three. And we're still in the bottom. We're gonna be stuck here forever, I think. If we keep doing it like that, but... We'll see how I get out of here. I don't know what to do with people who play Pokemon unironically. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy. But he has to spend time somehow. Usually this takes a significant amount of time and people familiar with what's going on. Because it's very simple. But, uh, again, uh, I'm looking for education stuff. And this is uh, cancer to my brain, basically. So we're going to skip all the Ludlock garbage from now on even if it pops out like i would rather watch minecraft it's actually more uh interesting to look at but people didn't watch it people don't care about that part it's not a, a part of his uh you know fan base uh who are will or willing or excited to watch him play minecraft And now a third video. That's kind of a running gag. I wonder if it ends, ends at some point. Alright, boys, it's time. You ever... Alright, I, I, I had an idea brewing. Because uh, the word virgin is being thrown around left and right. But I think Ludwig solved it for me. Fuck! I don't need to get fucked when I can win in Connect no! 4. It's just as satisfying to me. Such a virgin. 2 me. Yeah, so, uh, I changed the definition of virginity and that, uh, counts now. It just counts. Alright, because you're able... See, the, the point is of sexual activities to, you know, bond together with someone whatsoever. Just bond with someone whatsoever. Otherwise, you're gonna be screwed when society is trying to, you know, unite itself and... There's all sorts of consequences going left and right, and it's like, do you know, who do you like the most? And st Basically, crap happens. But right now, we're kind of parting our ways with each other. So how do we connect? You know, we can't do it in real life anymore. And that's, that's the whole point. I solved it. Uh, you're not, you're probably still a virgin if you bond sexually right now. But uh, maybe... Maybe there's some cases, or 80% of cases are actually, like, yeah, you, you did something. Because it's very difficult, like, to get a job and to, so you keep it. But eventually, the definition will change. And yes, it's me, the virgin, talking about it. No. It's me, a person who doesn't give a fuck about stupid shit, talking about it. All right. So the definition of virginity now has to change because now it's becoming very stupid. Uh, these popular kids can talk with each other all day long, you know, whether they're virgin enough or not. You know, because uh, it's like the energy type. Uh, but uh, they're popular kids. You must understand not to get brainwashed by the influencers who pretty much have the reach to... Uh, be the least amount of virgin possible if they want to? I don't know. I do not know that. It's a complicated uh, story, but, you know, it's something that pops up and triggers me over and over again right now. Especially her feeding Ludwig this idea as well. Fancy. Yeah, because you have to... In order to make a conclusion, all I have to remind you of is we have internet. Back in the day, 
you can have a conversation with someone, but it's so very difficult to train yourself to have a proper conversation. Like sex is the best thing that you can, the, the final boss fight that you can go into. But right now, it's so difficult to get anything whatsoever done properly. You know, to even ask a girl for a date, and it's uh, appropriate to actually ask her out online. Why not just have a meaningful conversation online? All right. And then I'll just, you know, masturbate to your fucking photo or whatever. Yes, virgin energy, but I think it fucking works. All right. I think that is now how we as humans have to bond. And it's way fucking cheaper than uh, buying a car to try and impress the girl. All these fancy things that are inflating our fucking community right now. And it pisses me fucking off. I'm giving Ludwig three points of approval for triggering this, uh, you know, special interaction that I have called uh, Virgin Power, all right? It doesn't carry Ludwig because he doesn't have the 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 power, but uh, here we go, the third evalu- fourth. I don't know how to count. The first, I don't know how to memo, all right? The fourth interaction, and now we know how to call this chapter. Another thing you have to keep in mind, uh, influencers are not on the top of the world, all right? People who are on the bottom who are capable of expressing themselves, they're just as powerful, all right? There's day and night, all right? So when the night comes, I come out and play with your mind and stuff and wh whatever I want to do because now I'm in charge. So, uh... Keep in mind that, that uh, I'm just as influential to Ludwig as Ludwig is influential to me, so it doesn't matter whether I hate his opinions or agree with them, like, uh, I can do whatever I want. You and the other, normal people kind of want to, like, shut the fuck up and listen when uh, we meet, you know, the shadows and the popular kids. Because you have to understand, the popular kids get to decide, like, the narrative we're going to talk about. I get to talk. Hmm? Think, think about that part. You can choose the topic, guys. Pick, pick and choose. But I will talk. Alright? I'm the smart one in the group. Everyone's going to get eliminated, and I'm like, okay, now I get to talk, finally. Uh, and influence the 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 juicy narrative part. All right, you you can uh, kickstart us off and be the face that's gonna be uh, labeled all of a sudden at the same time potentially for uh, judging how I talk. Obviously, it doesn't end there. They don't just kickstart. They they get to judge, sit down, and be like uh, react to my you know, thing. They're gonna have their face reacting to whatever I say. It's a funny, it's a funny interaction. I'll give three more points because I've never knew this thing. This concept is new to me, actually. We have raised this much money already this month. That's tight. Which is tight. They're actually doing good for the world. Yeah. So, if for those uninitiated, the loser will get... Yeah. We don't know. Again, the, the point with charities is like, we don't know where the money goes to. We cannot follow the money. If we were just, like, invest into other influencers trying to influence us, like, we would at least understand what's going on. All right? We would at least be able to create a human being that tries to do something, you know, but uh, cancer research, ah, how much more mysterious can you get, you know, uh, even like UFO research is something like, we, we kind of can grasp what it is, but cancer, breast cancer research, how, how does that even work? I mean, I would want to work in cancer, uh, breast cancer research, just to look at the boobies and get the charity, uh, dollars and be like oh yes you have it yet yeah, no you don't have it and people will believe it all right so then then we start bigger and bigger it's like 
oh, now we have this huge office, huge building where you go in to get to test your breast cancer, and we just straight up lie. You know, <laughs> it's, it's fancy. We just straight up lie. Oh, there's a hot chick. I like her boobies, so like, she's gonna stay. She has cancer, definitely. You know, if she's like disconnected from her family, all these fucking things can matter, and we can just show her fake bullshit. You know, obviously there has to be like a lump. We we have to like take in consideration how much bullshit we can feed a person. This, this is happening. All right, you you think I'm bullshitting right now? It's happening. It's happening all the time. Even if people don't know that they're doing it, they're bullshitting themselves. They feel like, oh, can I manipulate this person? Maybe I shouldn't. They would ask these questions all the time. Well, Ludwig brought it up. It's a, another concept, very interesting, of being a, a scam. The, the greatest scam of all time is obviously taking a, a job that pays you and creating problems instead of actually solving problems. So someone comes in without cancer and you're like, oh, you do have cancer, actually. You created a problem. Right, and you're gonna get more money because your statistics are going up. It's like, whoa, the cancer is on the rise right now. We need more research and more money. That's what's happening. I'm not making this shit up. It's what's happening. Because it's in the unknown. In the unknown territory, people gonna max out on the scam. Or the whatever they're doing, however they're getting money, in the place where it's not being observed. The money just evaporates and disappears. Trust me on that one. This charity is garbage. You're just dumping money into nothingness. Into the void. Congratulations. All that 4,000? 4, 4,000 can keep me alive for a year. Consider that, you know, keep me alive. I'll try and educate people with my own expense of... I'll be on blacklists, in the, on watch lists of a lot of governments all of a sudden. I'll be, we're going to be blacklisted on YouTube and all these things, you know. Everyone will try and attack me if I become an influencer eventually, if I have too much money. So I, I'm putting myself on the line here, you know. But I would still suggest investing in people like myself. I'm a little bit too controversial. I probably can't handle any amount of money being sent unless it's secret. But uh, it is what it is. So this is interesting. Uh, they're trying not to laugh. Uh, there's nothing funny usually, and then not try not to laugh with you. So if uh, any one of them reaches 10 and I don't reach a 1, I'll just skip this video. Nope, didn't, didn't, didn't even chuckle. <sighs> Very disappointing. Let's uh, continue then. Okay, then I'm going to. All right. Anything that uh, is laugh-related is uh, pointless, pretty much. So I will skip that from now on, even though it's a popular thing. Uh, including funny TikToks. All right, so now we're digging faster. And now we know how to do it. Not looking good so far. I might want to take a break at the moment. Oh, boy. The lowest score, actually. Because I don't know what to do. The Your life you lose is not funny. The TikToks are not funny. I just don't care about Pokemon either. And his Jeopardy. He's doing Jeopardy sometimes. This this one right here. I thought it was like Minecraft related because of this, but no, it's just uh, the characters on his show technically, I would imagine. One, one come from Minecraft, so I clicked on this one instead. But let's take a break and I'll come back. If you don't know my heart, you never gonna break it. Yeah, I mean, uh, people invest a lot into wh when they meet each other, right? And then again, it makes sense that the 
pinnacle of everything is uh, them loving each other somehow. But right now, I mean, the challenge is so high to actually meet up. Uh, we we actually have the biggest comfort zones we ever had before. Like, there's nothing to do at home uh, 20 years ago. Nothing really to do. Trust me. Okay. We struggle as children doing things. But right now, the same trends uh, still have a hold on us. But, uh, I mean, the world has changed so significantly. We have to change the certain definitions and certain interests. And the way we do things, basically. Yeah, eventually sex. But, like, right now... Sex after marriage, guys. Sex after marriage. So, uh, virgin power to me. Because the marriage is like, oh, we had a conversation and we met each other finally. And we really like each other. But we connected through the internet first. And that's the whole fucking point. And uh, when I am capable of breaking hearts, and potentially I am now capable of breaking uh, four special hearts... Very, very famous people, all right? And uh, they they will notice eventually. And now I have to learn to do more of that. So I become a, the greatest threat of all time. And thanks to Ava. Thank you, Ava, for letting me on that secret. You, now you're more naked all of a sudden. What is happening? So not... Also, anything related to uh, difficult but really mindless games. Because I don't know how they work. I don't know how they feel, you know. That's the point uh, of watching Minecraft videos, at least. I, I know how it feels digging around and looking for diamonds and killing zombies. I know how that feels. But this is not something I want to play, man. It's not something I want to relate to. The Jump King or... Whatever that thing with the hammer is called. I mean, uh... It, it's a thing you can do that has uh, no value whatsoever to society. So, uh, I'll skip. It's the Australian team. They have the Yeah, I mean, Wikipedia challenge is pretty interesting. Clicking on links and hoping to get from one thing to the other. I mean, uh, that's a lot smarter than uh, playing Pokemon, I'll tell you that. But uh, still, you know, you just kind of know what to do. And there's no real strategy involved. <sighs> so I'm not, not exactly sure what I, what is the entertaining part of this, you know. That's the problem. The controversy, guys. What the fuck? First, the nipple part. Of course, you're not gonna sacrifice your penis for how you appear in public. What the hell? I mean, uh, un unless the nipples, you know, like actually stick out and look like boobs. Ah, jeez. Uh, but, uh, it is, it is very awkward, but would you actually sacrifice something like this? I don't think so, man. But he's willing to make sacrifices, and also he's apparently sitting on the toilet to, and still wiping? What? How do you reach... What is going on? And it's uh, lux lecturing other people of uh, that they have to sit because it smushes together. What the butt. hell? And then stand and let your cheeks smush it together. You don't belong in society. Why would why would your butt do that? All of a sudden. To some extent. But like. 
What? And, uh, does that do anything, dude? I don't belong in society because I have butt hair, okay? That's why I don't belong in society. I don't actually shave that part. And sometimes it gets very nasty. I'm not gonna lie. But not because of whatever he said. Or brain dead. <laughs> Truly brain dead. Well, the idea is actually not to stand up completely. You lift your butt, obviously. So it's like, uh, what definitions are we talking about? What is happening? How would you do if you're just sitting there and not moving whatsoever? Uh, of course I don't stand up completely. So uh, the question is fucking stupid. And uh, I don't know what kind of brain dead people he is trying to find. He just missed the mark. But you get two clicks, I guess. The new lowest score, though. Congratulations. I have to take a nap, because... I don't know what happened, but... I'm extremely tired recently. After visiting doctor's office and popping up a pill, you know, this fancy stuff. Now I'm tired all of a sudden. I'm not gonna lie. The dream that I had was so bizarre, but only because of one part, one part that was super bizarre. Mr. Beast had chickens that were like little corn knobs, like half chicken, half corn. And yes, I met Mr. Beast too. And what the fuck is that? And he's like, oh, I'm growing corn, Chick chicken thing. He never really tried to explain it, because it's like, what? What the fuck is happening? What? What? That's the dream I get, right? Okay. In two hours as well? You can have dreams like that in two hours? <sighs> and it wasn't it. The ending was weird, too. He was, like, sponsored by some kind of, a uh, clothing brand or something. Also, I gave him corn, because he made the corn meme. Alright? He made the corn meme. Meme with the corn meme, kid. Uh, so, it's, it's kind of weird to, for it to come back around. And... I know we talked with Mr. Beast a little bit about something, something. But, uh... There was, like, this... Nike and Adidas. Just... F fully suited dudes. They just, like... Uh... We, we just teamed... Uh, I really want to remember what I said to Mr. Beast, because, like, we talked. It's so weird. Because the ending is, like, weird, like, who cares about these clothing brands? Ah, uh, oh man. It's so, so weird. I, I guess I'll have to be satisfied with these corn chicken things. Like, what? Technically, it's the first, not the first time when Mr. B shows up in my dreams. It's, uh, it's kind of casual occurrence. Mr. Beast probably showed up more than any other person ever. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably asked Mr. Beast the, the greatest challenge of all, if all time. I don't know if he, even if he heard it or he just was ignoring me. But, like, uh, um, yeah, make pe Whatever you're doing right now, like... Oh, that's cool. But try to make people like me. Yeah, that's a pretty big challenge. <laughs> Anyways. Link Mr. Beast uh, with sleep, which... Uh, he's still not linked. What? Oh, because Beast. He's not linked. So, uh, for the first time in forever... I kind of want to link it twice because he 
He was with the weirdest concept of all time. Wait, what what else do I remember? I remember there was a deer staring at me, things were coming at like it, the weird the dream was like weird too. But <laughs> but then this was the epic moment and it ended there, alright? So uh these fully suited dudes that are kind of like sponsors they don't want to have a face basically and they don't which is kind of you know mind-blowing that the dream was like self-aware on that too in a way and uh we kind of put put our hands together i wanted to do the meme and put fingers because i'm like who am i again oh okay oh yeah we also talked with mr beast about like okay uh some kind of underwater thing, like we went underwater, we were like leading people, but then it was like a ma aftermath of something, of some kind of video. And then we just walked and talked and went to his little chicken corn farm. Chicorn, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's like the... They also lay eggs that have corn in it or something, but no, they like literally walk around like half chicken, half corn. It's so weird. What the hell, man? So I guess we didn't talk anything about anything else. Who cares, man? Well done. Well, you did well, Mr. Beast, or something. My sleep evolved too, to 1400 now. <laughs> Mostly because of, uh, wait, wait, wait. That's all Ari gave, That that's not true. Oh yeah, that's all sleep has, 100 points. Mostly comes from Ari, right? We can actually check out. Mr. Beast only gives uh, 30 points. Ari, 400 points, and Taylor. Didn't I do Selena? What the fuck is wrong with me? What is wrong with me sometimes? It's hard to... Okay, I did... I did do it. So where is she then? Oh, there's a lot of people. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take too long. Like, what the fuck? Two hours? <laughs> at, at, at random point in time in my life? Oh, hi, Mr. Beast. Does this concept actually exist? Corn chicken. Half corn. Half chicken. No, it doesn't exist, okay? I've seen it first, for the first time in forever. Holy fucking moly. Okay. So, there wasn't anything special again. There wasn't anything special between me and Mr. Beast, which is fine. That's how dreams work, most of the time. Nothing special is gonna happen. But for the first time in forever, now I can actually talk about it, and it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, probably. <laughs> what? What? <a> f <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around. I guess that was the actual break that I had to take. Because that's the actual... I, I just went to sleep, honestly. <laughs> well, I, there's nothing better to see. Oh, wait. There's nothing better to say than, what is this chapter? Uh, apparently, Mr. Beast sponsored this video, but I am not... Well, I guess I can feed this. About Ludwig. Hi, Ludwig. Nobody cares about you. But they watched the entire hour. For some reason. Alright. That's a weird thing to happen. 
Oh yeah, I was able to send Mr. Beast a message. A very special message. Which, um... Uh, uh, which increases the score even further. From 2 to 3. The special message was... Um... So he was like talking about, oh, like... I give people like these videos and they they use it uh to tell stories technically to share it with each other and i'm like yeah okay you capture the vibe but uh you have to put a lot of work to make sure you only take the best of the best ideas what whatever you choose actually makes sense right cuz uh, often enough like Mr. Beast, like, does crazy things, but, like, are they useful to society? Is that sanity in his... Co is Does he have any sanity during this content? Like, it's pretty important stuff. Uh, so I'm like, okay, normally I would ask 50-50, 50% sanity and 50% content. He can hire someone to create sanity in the bag he has enough money so he doesn't have to put it up front i don't i don't really even know what that request is but i just know i talked about it mr beast was like uh triggering that conversation in a way and uh, we were like surrounded with like two cool uh, imagery right uh, it felt like taking a very peculiar photo. <laughs> I mean, we were like in the boat or some. That's how it felt. So I was able to actually try and send... It felt like he would hurt me or something crazy, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, so Mr. B sponsored this video for some reason. I have to finish it properly. We only... 10% way there, actually. You don't see the knob. You do not see the knob. The knob is over here. Alright? has to be over here. Hmm? All, all the way up there. All the way up. Actually, I can probably... Yeah, all the way next to my avatar, which you cannot see. So here you go. And hopefully I can... Uh, get where we ended... Because I've screwed everything up now. Anyways. So you get the idea. Let's continue. Uh, well. Let's watch the short about the, the corn thing. Just to get the vibe now. How much corn have you eaten the past couple weeks? This is uh, something I didn't see actually. Is this the most popular sh for real? She didn't even upload it. Okay, whatever. Hopefully it's it's something cool. How much corn have you eaten the past couple of weeks? 1,219. We've got a special Mr. Beast Burger corn. A pickle. What do you corn just looks a bit messed up. Right. I don't like this type. Alright, we finally found corn that he didn't like. You've been doing all this trying to get me to not like a single cone. You got me, I don't like it. This is not corntastic. No, it is not! How much corn? Yeah, I don't know what this means, but maybe it means something to someone somewhere. You know? Well, in order for me to catch a vibe, I just do things that I care about. Like I truly care about. Well, I don't know. That was a thing. Another thing, uh... I just remember, it's like, well, Mr. Beast has a philanthropy, philanthropy channel. Most people don't even know that. But, uh, obviously, like, he gives back to the community or tries to spend his money wise wisely. The most wisest thing he could do is not philanthropy, it's education. He has the biggest reach on YouTube right now. So, uh, just spending your pennies to something that a lot of uh, big people, well, millionaires have. If you can convince other millionaires to actually 
hop on board with it. That would be a story to tell. All right, that would be educational. So uh, he does 25% somewhat sanity content. I don't think his uh, philanthropy channel is... Uh, let's put it... Uh, is on the same budget as everything else and uh, pumps out the same amount of videos. I don't think so, but who knows? Also, it's been a long time since I seen uh, Mr. Beast on the sub box. He didn't just show up, right, while I was sleeping. Thank God. It's been a long time, though. I can feel it all, every time. Someone is missing, I can feel it. It usually the, is the feeling that I get from not getting John Oliver every Monday. And I don't actually check on Monday. I, I'm just like, wait. Wait, I haven't actually seen John Oliver. Wasn't it Monday already? And it's like... Now he's just like gone because he needs to start a new season. But he never really ended the season. So it's just so confusing as well. Anyways, I'm sorry for rambling. Let's uh, go back to the 30-70% nonsense. Actually, I don't want to even watch this video because it just triggered me so badly. A guy would come with like this specially designed... Yeah, let me guess. He uh, spent 1,000 and he can't eat the whole thing. Wow. So crazy. And also, wow, it's a fancy restaurant. That I will never go to because I don't give a fuck about that. And uh, it still wasn't, you know, a pristine experience whatsoever. <sighs> so you would never go back here, you know. You would never recommend the most expensive mistake. Well, uh, he actually gets semi scammed of like a hundred thousand dollars or something in the future. So here's this the scam. Uh, the only word I can come up with is trilogy, but like, you know, this, the series of getting scammed for some reason, it's a, also a very expected thing to happen. So fancy. He actually harvest comments, actually. Very interesting. Not that great. Doesn't taste bad. But, like, it tastes like the best thing you would find on, what's that show? Naked and Afraid? It'd be like... Yeah, 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 you got the right vibes. It tastes like slavery, because usually prices are kind of uh, precise of how much human labor it actually requires to acquire truffles, which apparently don't taste good. Wow, so fancy. So you're eating slavery, basically, is what you're doing right now. I hope it's fancy for you. It's the most expensive part of the meal. It's like he says a few ounces and an ounce is a hundred dollars. Even though he pays uh five fifty for the entire course of thirteen meals and whatever. Fancy, very interesting stuff. Oh time's up. Need to put down the evaluation, that sucked really bad. Because uh, story times are very slow pace. Nothing really happens in story time. It's not supposed to be a entertainment purposes, which I appreciate. It's uh, me getting scammed purposes. Oh wait, he's flexing that he's getting scammed, almost. Because he was like, uh, deciding before the meal is like, Oh, this would be hype. This would be a hype story. Mm, it's cringe story to me, but I guess it's the only education part that we're gonna get from him, after all. Wagyu. Did she say wagyu? That's a funny word, because in Lithuania it means to steal. I'm stealing, is what it means. Yeah, we have words where you don't have to say I am. And just assume. Very nice. I steal, yeah. I steal. I got food poisoning at a two Michelin st Oh, so he did finish the meals. That's cool. Of course you get food poisoning because of all the mixed 
food that you get. It's like, wow, fascinating. No, it's it's truly magnificent. <sighs> yeah, the more fancy or something is, but like it actually tells a very interesting story, right? That uh, fan even fancy content can give you poisoning of some kind. Oh wait, it has to be fancy and scam a lot of people at the same time. That's kind of the whole point. But then it doesn't make sense. It's not the, the way capitalism works, apparently. Because the way capitalism works is encourages not scamming, but like having return customers and having people uh, actually review you positively, right? Well, uh, internet reviews never really happened. This this is actually a positive review because he would not talk about it unless it was a mistake after all. So it's just such a such a mess to try and understand. I don't know. I'll just move on and uh, pretend that I've never seen this before. Nice cap right there. I'm, I'm not gonna give bad vibes to people, unfortunately. What is this nonsense? So first he puts on this fucking cap, and now this cap. And now I'm, I'm seeing a problem here. Alright? It's a very serious problem. I'm seeing a pro- If this happens again, I will be forced to actually remove a point. Right now, I'll just not give a point and move on with my life. If this keeps happening... And I will skip all the cap things. As if it's wildfire. Funny TikToks. This is, this is getting easier and easier, guys. To climb back up again. You know, uh, Ludwig plays climber minigames. So it's about time to climb his content. We have a ledge. Ooh, lie detector test. That's fascinating. <laughs> so what I've learned from this experience of lie detector uh, it, it's a terrible device that actually like you know makes you answer in yes and no to a question and uh, sort of pu puts you on a guilt trip but uh, uh, it's, it's kind of a cringe move I would never do lie detector to myself because I'm always stressed out in weird ways and then you have to keep on reiterating what are you stressed out about? Or people can take it differently completely by asking wrong questions with wrong answers and everything is wrong and a lie or whatever. I don't know. It's such a twisted nonsense. It's just best to have a Q&A and try and explain yourself. Then play games all the time for entertainment. Very interesting. Wait, it's all already over. One four nine. This actual evaluation. I thought like this. This can't be it. The new lowest of the lows. Cause now I just don't know what to watch anymore. I uh. I overdosed on Ludwig, but I will still gobble it. I will continue my uh, destiny, basically. If we will go too fast, uh, I will slow down, but I really don't care. Back in front of the cup. In case you're wondering, we're at April uh, 2020, which is over here. The Ludwig pandemic. Is about to start six months later or something. All right, so uh, you know, I definitely started seeing millions of views. Uh, we went from like a two hundred thousand, the norm to millions. Well, a million is the norm now. Of something I click on. 
very interesting what is gonna happen here though what is this first spike at december we have to anticipate because he starts spiking like crazy obviously if i zoomed in here it probably looked like spikes too right well we'll never know actually because it's too hard to do so the audience is now extracting his stories None of them uh, are that fascinating. His life stories. While he plays his uh, Super Mario 64. Okay. One last try and uh, I will stop listening to that too. That was the school. Let, let me help Ludwig. I'll, I'll play a card game while he talks. If that's how we roll, Club, I thought I it's gonna get a bit of a bonus because uh, I'll be distracted, you know. Comedy clubs. I know what to do now. I know uh, how to make the break happen, which is coming up soon. We we gotta look into titanium. Hmm. If that has any magical significance, one nine two. All right. Keep telling your stories, Ludwig. They're useless. But titanium is not going to be useless. Anyways, uh, she scabbed me. All right. Still playing Here's Mario? No. Why not? Where's the Mario thing? <laughs> okay. Hey, how about we just split the? Uh, I also don't understand the hiding games whatsoever. I just don't. Like, what's so fun about them? They, they literally will never get a chance to be witches because they will never find us. There's many IRL stream. Now, uh, it's still a game, uh, even when he does the Q and A. Actually, because <sighs> he has to respond to live messages basically everything's live and everything's boring because i would never watch a streamer uh and uh now he's just shoving it in youtube and thinking now i'm a youtuber oh wow congratulations he got a million views it's crazy dude and i cannot even watch it whatsoever yeah this is not e even gonna count one three one three eight so let's do the titanium thing i'm well approved everything to lose because i won't use bullets on you i know earth people lot big is earth fire i don't need to use bullets fuck that shit he officially beats Rune Terra. And we'll get gold eventually, right? Ah, <sighs> I didn't find anything, by the way. Ah, uh, all right, let's keep going then. Wait, so, so someone is whispering something to me, saying the magical word: overtime. And now we have to calculate the current score and see if we can improve it. Finally, or. or Whatever the improvement is going to be. So let's uh, plug this in uh, and calculate. 206. We should be able to significantly improve that. Hopefully. So. Uh, it's time to do that overtime thingy and uh, replace bad numbers with the good numbers. That's simple as that. I hope Ludwig can improve himself, because there's still a 70% a of the content left to climb. We're at two years now. Fancy. I forgot to say that we kind of celebrating the thousand for Ludwig. Also, uh, he features someone like Dream in the future and Mr. Beast. So he's kind of connected. You know, exactly the way I said, Dream is the Beast and Chess, mainly. And has been on uh, 
Anthony's uh, interview, basically, session. And this guy's toast. He's connected, basically. Why don't I see chess? Oh, I, I do see chess, right? The, the, the very first thing that Dream was associated with, and probably... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he organized the event. And now he's kind of a big dude, actually. You know, that's... That's important. I can kickstart him for one particular thing that he did. Uh, or made me realize. Like, it's really cool that you can actually see him return to the stream or be attached to the stream. Because something like uh, Gurnex stole your cap could turn into a trigger word that's or all of a sudden will fuel more drama if he bans a person who says that, but he would have a reaction to it of some kind. There is no way of hiding it if you're alive. You know, something would happen when you throw trigger words like that. You know, if Ludwig watches my video and like gets emotionally attached but doesn't want to actually show it, the trigger words would leak his... Uh, uh, point of view, basically, of how he feels. So that's, uh, yeah. That's the dark side of streaming, but I think he's kind of detaching from that and just starting to do something else entirely. I can say organizing events, but I, I don't know what that is going to be in the future, necessarily. And he shows up already with the, the chess stuff. So, uh, let's take a look. We just uh, call him out on it, and it, it, it just appeared to me that this is just content already. Two years ago. Or two and whatever amount of years ago. So where are we right now? Did he pick up chess and uh, started blowing up? June. So June, June, June. Exactly. Exactly. So the chess community just pulled him in, just like that? This is crazy, bro. This is next level insanity, because we know him for that. And if every single spike is just chess stuff... I'll be actually quite surprised, because I did not expect that whatsoever. So let's dive in. Into overtime! <laughs> so cool, but it's just... Um, we're just trying to improve his score. Because he deserves it if he has been evaluated 10 times already. Anything should be a bonus, right? That's the whole point. The next level evaluation begins. Or continues, actually. So good. For one cup, just one cup of sperm, you can get seventy-five to one hundred fifty dollars, depending on how much you can drop out. You can do it. Yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. That would take you two months, at least. And like, how do you, how do you do it? How do you squirt in a cup? I mean, uh, money is. Uh, if something is evaluated high, that means it's that difficult. Alright, the distraction bonus, 1, 2, 3, and we have 218 as a very valuable thing that will replace that last thing that happened. Whatever that was. <sighs> oh, I forgot to chapter overtime already. And you walk in this room. Do you, you do you realize how weird it is that sperm banks even exist? Isn't that like the weirdest thing in the universe? Probably not being used to put into humans, as a lot of excess. Like, there's no way this is needed. I mean, what is the point? Just adopt a child. Are you fucking desperate? Oh, it's too difficult, though. Then don't do fucking anything, because it's too difficult. Alright? 
light is either on or off, it is very difficult to make it in between, in the between state. So it flickers all the time. This is what it feels like. It's like, oh, let's add this random thing into my body in random ways. Like, that is just mind-bogglingly insane. Not difficult, it's just insane. So who needs this kind of service? I don't understand. Who needs all these fucking bottles of sperm? The only thing I can come up with is just science. Science loves stuff like that. But uh, beyond that, like, I cannot imagine. Like, just fucking find a man. Uh, men are like flies that attach to you and uh, shoot out these things for free on your face, whatever. Whatever you want. I mean... And if you can't handle that, and if you can't handle a straightforward thing, I'm sorry, bro. You're not gonna be able to handle this the science way either. The science way is gonna be even more ugly. And uh, if someone asks if if you got where you got the child, is also ridiculously embarrassing because there is no story behind it. All right, you do not get to know the person who gave you sperm to begin with. So I don't understand what kind of purpose it serves. But Ludwig just uh, unveiled some kind of bullshit that I never heard before. Should we give him five points for that? High five. No, because he probably just masturbated all over his hand. I can't, I can't high five him. So it's three. One, two, three. Good luck, Ludwig. Breaking the story down, it's, what the hell. And it's expensive too, it's like on demand of some kind, like... What the fuck is happening, bro? What is happening? There's like... Is there like a bunch of couples that can't have a baby but really want a baby? In the scientific way. Well, you don't get a baby! Forget about it! Science is not gonna save your ass! Science is gonna just make it more miserable, I would, I would say. But... This Giga Chat is gonna provide you some sperm now. So open wide, wide, whatever, whatever it goes at this point. Normally, think about uh, it. Ah, I did think about it. I'm about to do it. I did think this about it. This is the hard part that I didn't think about. You gotta get it in the cup. Checkmate! <laughs> get out of here, bro. That's, I guess that's why he was drawn into chess to get checkmated a bunch. And then uh, ask his friends to get checkmated. And then ask his friends to get checkmated and boxed into red faceness or something. I mean, come on, man. This is fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. What else? What Normally, else? Normally, I'm a D to T. I don't know if you gentlemen are D to T's, but it's the best way to do it. Direct to toilet. Of course. No, I just, I don't give a fuck. I have soggy, soggy trousers. And I, I don't squirt that much, so I don't care. I literally just don't care. It might even be smelly right at the moment. I don't care. Because <laughs> I'm not a public person. And that's uh, a very good, uh, you know, bonus or... Uh, benefit, I guess. For not being self-conscious all the time. The kid turns 18. Do you want to let him call you? Yeah, now, now it feels real. Despite how much uh, shit I just said. But, I mean... Ugh. Still, like, what the hell? What the hell? Like, th there were a few th things beforehand, and... Oh my god. Call me Papa, here's how he looks like! Oh my god! <sighs> you're not just... You're not just uh, giving sperm, you're actually making a baby, somehow. And making money. Isn't that fucking hilarious? Everyone should do that. So many benefits. Low pony. 
All right, so I uh, have to avoid clickbait too, then. You know, or anything uh, with Cinderella in it, because it's just Reddit review, basically, Taima. I don't care. Reddit review is cringe too. Yeah, I, I might enjoy this game once I figure it out. <sighs> you know, th there's a difference between, oh, I will play this because I really want to, and oh, I will play this because I have nothing else to do. One, two, three. 180, does that solve anything? It solves this score. All right. Doing well so far, I guess. Where are we? Still very... This is probably the middle, right? So, uh, 40% now? Ooh, stats! 225! Still going up. Very interesting. Now I block this score. Will I stop if it stops going up? Mm, debatable. Very debatable. If we hit a two hour mark and it stops going up, something might happen. We reach the imposter phase. This is the very, very first video, I believe. Let's see what happens. I don't All like right, Among Us either, but uh, I'll I'll take some. Well, I have to scoop the vibes, right? I just have to. We're reviewing August now, and uh, it's not Among Us that blew up, right? Well, who knows? Who knows what this spike means? I just know it's unwatchable, guys. When someone says, I just need to kill some people. Yeah, you do, bro. It's fucking uh, probably occult training to force people to play this game while in lockdown. I mean, that that's some training right there. I'm not clicking on these fucking Among Us garbage things. Lying and killing, basically. Amongst themselves. You can do that amongst yourselves. I'm not gonna jump into that pool of garbage. Ah, uh, this video is actually kind of interesting. I don't know if I want to comment on it. Might seem out of but, uh... The part where he sexualizes his kind of girlfriend, I don't know what she is. And what her story is going to be. But it's so interesting. Because uh, when you have someone in your proximity. You don't actually want to sexualize them anymore. They're, they're good enough. As they are. Just because they want to talk to you and stuff. But probably if you've been together for long enough. Then weird things happen still. So I can't really comment on this. But just the idea that proximity matters. And you wouldn't do it to, like, a girl that you like uh, on a stream. Oh, my heart is breaking. This one doesn't work. Maybe I let one slide, but... Uh, I don't like where this is going. In fact, I want to heat things up a little bit with vibe check. So maybe I'm allowed now. I'm allowed to do this because we're getting even deeper than I thought I would. And if my vibes get uh, unchecked, uh, which is a pos going to be a positive score, actually. Oopsie. I like the cringe, but like... Dread. 
This is how I feel sometimes, listening to L Ludwig. So let's see if uh, this continues. You know, the suffer. Put on the suffer cap so I could feel the dread. Hmm. Alright, thanks for poking me, you know. I know where, where, where to spend my bonus or my break, basically. Anyways, instead of his girlfriend with... What was that pixie fairy costume? Hmm, interesting. You can keep that. One, two, three. All right, that that works. It actually blocks a new thing, and now the benchmark is one eight six. Let's recalculate what we have now. This is the score right now. Slight improvement, nothing serious. It's not going anywhere, to be honest. But uh, we'll see how long we can last. I don't know, man. I want to finish the whole thing, right? We're halfway there. But that sucks, man. So Zen Dragon. Alright, I've done my work, Ludwig is now gold. Top 100. 96 to be specific. Mm -hmm. Runeterra is uh, climbing up as well. To that position. To be golden. Let's continue. What is the heat level though? 230. Alright. Alright, got some Minecraft vibes of how they play in a server with Toast. As the overlord that wants to collect taxes, but he pretty much doesn't control none of this shit and... I don't know. It's kind of funny. And, and deep, technically. It's almost as deep as... uh. Uh, Among Us, 193, which is uh, good enough. What a pickle, this. Wait, wait, what? What is this? What is this Christmas thing? Because uh, Family Feud. December 5, which is exactly when this spike happened. It doesn't show anything uh, special in the... in viewership. No 2 million videos. I met Technoblade? Oh, wow. Interesting. But other than that, I'm not sure what's going on here. I really don't get it. Then you can start playing some blackjack. Let's go all in. Ace four, saw 15 versus... Never seen anything like this before. I, I don't understand how is this possible. And I have, you know, tinkered with Minecraft myself. What the hell? I built working casino. I'm sure you just pasted and copied and pasted some code or whatever. But this is still ridiculous. Versus a queen, we hit. That's Okay. Two three six. Ugh. Replace this. Wait. 
What is that? Four, five in a row almost? What is that? This must be the best video I've seen so far. And that's probably just because the game is interesting enough and not, you know, the part that Ludwig is doing it or whatever. That doesn't matter to me. Well, yeah. Family Feud. I mean, it is a popular show too. Quite recently, I guess. Uh, even through the internet, it has been able to reach me, so... That's cool. But I have to go to sleep now, because I'm still tired. It was just two hours of sleep, you must understand. Uh. Alright, I got my sleep. Let's continue. I don't know what this is, by the way. It was cringe. I don't want to listen to Ludwig sing, I'm just saying. Because killing you is just going to make them seem like an asshole. Because you're being so nice all the time. And so little by little, bit by bit, no one really wants to kill you, and then you... Yeah, no, no one wants to kill you except me. So I'll skip that part. Playing with Technoblade, interesting. I smell cancer and death. Hmm, for some reason. 197, so that's some improvement, I guess. Let's remove uh, what we just added two times ago. Ah, this, this will still take a while. For the free likes, man, look at that. Today, the start of a brand new series on this channel. Finally, refreshing Three games versus Pro Boys. From. And today, it features me. Ah, <sighs> yes, you can lose this game, Ludwig. Yes, you can. 174. I mean, at some point, I will just lose hope that I cannot actually improve his score. But right now, we at least have two improvements. Wow. Don't quote me on things I say, Nick. I have never said anything intelligent. And the fact that now I have to defend the dumb things I say is atrocious. Okay, he's actually... Uh, you're looking for the word dreadful. Atrocious? Nah, dude. I'm better than me. Why am I so good? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. How did we get from, uh, what? From here to, like, here very quickly. It's January, February. Holy shit. Did, did we just skip something? Did we just skip eternity? Of videos. Because again, uh, the, look down, there's this Christmas stuff, right? Wait, was this a. Uh, am I. am I tripping? I must be tripping, right? 2020, December. Here, as I've said. Oh, wait, February here? Must be stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's just me being stupid, and well, I'm sorry, Ludwig. Yeah, yeah I, I raised my hopes a little bit too high, guys. Too high. Anyways, so we're here. He's still playing chess. Is this the Pog Champs thing? Because he's saying uh, Pog Champs rematch or something. It must be right. I can't explain it any other way, despite there haven't been any announcements or anything. One mil special, okay. I'm getting ridiculously bored and it's not working out for Lud. 
Mm. Consumption. He might actually survive after all of this stuff goes down with like 2,000 points in his pocket and there's, there's no way I can knock him out of top 100, right? Yeah, that sucks. Also on Terra now is uh, golden because I knocked out school. Yeah, school itself does not have any influence. Uh, but the girls have, so it doesn't work that way because your pure influence is now 17%. Ah, anyways. So uh, at least red doesn't actually climb very high. Unexpected results. Alright, where do we go from here? Well, uh, 167. That's where we go. If uh, there's no improvement whatsoever, I'll be forced to stop. And right now, I'm just like, this is not enough improvement. I'm not even going to calculate it. It actually takes quite a bit of time to calculate. Uh, because I fucked it up the way it works, but... Oops. When the vibes are the worst, there's only one thing that can save you. The song saved my life. Here you go. Simple. Alright, it's time for double overtime, because we have elevated 20 times now. Holy crappies. Alright, I stay committed. Didn't play Runeterra this time. Because uh, it's something I got hooked into this video, that's cool. Ah, Radiant, though. Why is it called Radiant? Here's our comms, fight him! Alright, this just got boring because one of them... Well, they actually won? Spoiler alert, I guess, I don't care. For the, for the first time in forever, they, they won three of them but it's a it's a shooter so there's there's not a lot you need to master to win i don't think i still wouldn't know how to use flashes and smoke bombs or whatever effectively uh it's literally uh counter-strike with better graphics or whatever i I don't see the difference. Mmm, yeah, now, now we're getting some good videos, actually. Very interesting. Almost finished this one. I'm just very impressed. A new high score? What is going on there? Not quite, but yeah, not bad. We're getting there now. What is getting eliminated? This entire lion is now gone. Garbage. <sighs> I don't even know, man. Where are we right now? One, two, three. Two, four, one. Well, I watch this. Not bad. Gives awareness on uh, YouTuber songs. Hmm, interesting. Probably I don't agree with all of this stuff, or none of this. I, but I honestly don't care. Just wanted to be uh, a little bit more aware. Alright, two for one is a good one. We're getting somewhere. But we'll never reach uh, the previous score. Of 330 or something? Impossible. I don't even know how I got there. Finally, the lowest score now is 201. That's what we're trying to improve at this point. It's looking good, like... That's what you would want. The higher you climb, the better the quality of videos. It does feel like, uh, Ludwig... 
knows what he's doing, knows what he has to highlight, or uh, I'm just deceiving myself somehow. I'm not sure where we started, but we are right here at March. This spike right here. We're we're traveling really slowly, man. This is crazy stuff. The funny part is that he kind of somewhat does what I would like to do if I was a streamer and all that stuff. Like it's it is actually relatable. The most relatable part is him uh collecting a playlist from viewers to make sure uh you know music plays when he does the stream very fun except uh you know uh, right now if i was because if i became a streamer i would ask for actually good music not for the stream and i know that i would not want to become a streamer because it's just uh a messed up format of making videos. I don't know, bro. Maybe that's what's holding him back, honestly. Because he cannot actually just squeeze his content into something actually consumable. It's just a clip from the edited clip from his streams. So nothing really special or uh, straight to the point, you know. Except maybe these. Three gamers versus one pro. Yeah, I, I, I have a very weird sleeping pattern. I, I don't even know how it looks like, man. Just a bunch of spikes. Randomly generated spikes. I mean, for fuck's sake. Uh, anyways. It actually pisses me off when I have to drag the episode th across days. It's uh, a lot more natural to wake up one day, finish the episode, move on with my life. So, uh, I, I'm definitely constantly contemplating just splitting the episode. Like, why would I do this to myself? It makes no sense. <sighs> I'll, I'll need to definitely talk to myself before I uh, do the third overtime. But, like, the girls are so easier than the guys who have uploaded content like this in their life. Or have been streamers. That's probably the worst thing. I, I'll probably be scared if someone says I'm a streamer now. I'll just be scared. That's what's gonna happen. He gave us a head start. Oh, he, that he, son of a he's bitch. Doing he's doing Norwegian. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is Dark he so fast backwards? <laughs> Did he pass me already? What the hell? But that's the, the kicker of this episode. Line oh, right, and he's gentlemen. still right winning? Now, what the hell, bro? Also, how... Uh, they have such complicated ways to tell who's winning. Like, how did they do this board of stuff? This is so... Is this automated? What is happening, man? I want to cry now. Four, and it is first... He crashed out, he crashed out. How can the pro win? I have a genuine question. How can he win? Oh, yeah. oh! When the the speed is on the back. He can't see his own speed. It's crazy, dude. This is crazy. The pro is winning backwards and doesn't see his own speed. <laughs> Don't say oh. that. Uh, I generally would love to have uh, Truck Mania in my list of golden things. Alright. I would love to, because I played a lot of Truck Mania. But uh, I just don't know how to squeeze this game anymore in a satisfying way.
I used to like build tracks and do cool things. Uh, there was like a special game mode that I really liked. Like you had to build your own track and like complete. Uh, it's like a puzzle track mania mode. It's crazy stuff, dude. I was so into it. And maybe there was more modes that I liked, but like there was a uh, a trick mode as well. It just brings me good memories, but uh, I just don't feel like uh, Trackmania kept that identity growing as well. I think it's just racing still, uh, and that was just a weird, weird time. In my life, when I was able to find weird Trackmania modes in some game. Right. Ah, so sad. It would be such a cool experience, experience to bring back. If I was excited, right? If, if there was anything to actually play... I don't know. Building tracks takes a very, very long time. I wouldn't want to do that anymore. Oh, yeah. I wanted to do something special for triple triple overtime. But, you know, we, we're double overtime. So let's do 1.5 speed. And you know what's going to happen with triple overtime. I've never used this feature. Unironically, like this is serious. We need to hurry the fuck up. And triple overtime will happen when we hit two hours, which is very, very soon, regardless. <laughs> Pretty sure at two times speed. I would not be able to understand what they say anymore. So I don't know if it's watchable at two times speed. 1.5 is like acceptable, but. Faster than that, man. There's no way I would be able to absorb absorb content properly. But we'll see, I don't care. I have to use something, some kind of tricks. This is two times speed. I probably I probably need this and I, I can still follow something. <laughs> so I can kind of tell if something is important or not, but like, I don't know, maybe I need some kind of different trick up my sleeve. Political map, except in this universe. Shit, the meta. <laughs> the meta feeling of having the same website open. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that really helps, though. The score is pretty... S the, the record... What? That's how I should have watched this content the whole time. <sighs> Alright, boys. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but Ludwig makes me feel dumb sometimes. Because uh, we're same age, basically. I don't know if you caught that. 27. Yeah. I'll catch up to him. Don't worry, guys. I just have to unpack, you know, my stuff and put it together and do things. All right. I have other kinds of skills that he doesn't have. I'm sure. I hope. Anything? He's playing, you know... He plays chess, and that discredits him for the rest of his life, I think. It is time for triple overtime. Let's go, boys. Now, uh, it's not always clear which one is going to happen first. Whether I will uh, do 20 re uh, evaluations, or I will hit two hours first. But who cares about that? Triple is triple, boys. Now, the final thing that I will do 
if I, uh, if the audio feels slow, I just have to skip it, alright? If it feels slow and not entertaining enough, I have to, you know, skip it faster than I usually do. Even though I already kind of do that, I don't know if anything is going to change. They made it, they made numbers smaller and still in the corners of the screen. Like, are you kidding me? You have so much space on your fucking foreheads, you could put, put it over there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, with, without uh, spoiling chapters of uh, where do I click to find an, a different home and what is the price. I just can't watch the video, I'm sorry, bro. Speed, faster, faster. I watched, uh, I think I started watching, uh, well, uh, not, not anywhere close, actually. The reason being why I watch these videos is because they get recommended to me. I got sucked into the Ludwig black hole, basically. Once you watch a few videos, then, uh, that's it. It's time to watch them all. Two, three, three. Keep it up. Faster, faster. We have completed another thing where I have to pause and calculate. Because we have... We have done a lot. The lowest score currently is 225. Amazing. This is the new result. It has risen significantly now. Wow. We're still not uh, at 300. It requires a lot more to get to 300. Not now it's going to be going to get a little bit more difficult, right? Yeah. Also, just so you guys know, yes. I am a homophobe. Yes, gays make me very uncomfortable, and I will start talking of why being gay is bullshit. Well, eventually. I will uh, rip, rip specific labels of the rainbow flag and uh, talk about them specifically of why they're bullshit. Eventually, I think. Uh, mm. Yeah, you, you, you can see the, the odd one. In the group. And then you can see the black guy. The interracial too. Hmm. And then you can see the Andrew Tate with the sunglasses. So that that's different. Then you, you can see... A XQC actually ha has someone. Alright? That's crazy. And the, then you can see a normal dude. Which is not normal anymore. In this kind of group. Of weirdos. Soda? So The, uh... You, you're just missing F! You're just missing an F, dude! You're gonna be a KFC. And Soda. I mean, <laughs> the greatest names of all time. But you know what's uh, funny about the homophobe part? I'm pretty sure people hating on me is uh, a lot more problematic than me being a homophobe when, uh, you know, it's just like being uncomfortable next to rich people or being uncomfortable with people who um, have a lot of friends, you know. It's just a similar discomfort that I have. It's like, you have something weird going on in your life that... I can't even dream about. All right. Well, uh, without feeling uncomfortable already, like Jesus Christ, I can't have anything. And most importantly, again, it's more problematic that I'm being hated uh, for, despite not having anything. Like you know, the video that I've made at some point. 
I said like, well, I got 15 subs this year after posting 300 videos. That's cool. I guess I deserve it. I guess I'm not influential. Oh, well. I guess my uh, noble sacrifice isn't working out very well. I guess I'm too controversial as a human being trying to say opinion, but when, I, when people uh, display what they like or dislike, that has to be respected. I mean, but I can't relate. How do I relate, though, if it's different? But, but they are exploring something that you would never... Fuck that shit, all right? I don't want to explore what it means to have a cat some, most of the time, all right? I will not instantly skip a cat with you, but I, I don't want to explore it, all right? You can shove it in my face, and I will react to it and then move on with my life, but I, I don't need to explore it. All right, whatever life has to offer, I will accept, but nah, bro. Nah, bro. I will not relate. I will just, uh, you know, like a passing car. I will not stop. I'll just keep moving. I'll just look through the window. Oh, I don't like, I don't like you. You like each other, but I don't like you. And I'm just going to move forward. That's, that's the, the homophobic spectrum I am at. All right, I'm not there to stop and throw rocks. I'm not a super homophobe, all right? Think, thinking that I have to crush the the roaches that are lurking around. I don't look at it that way. I just move past. I, I don't want any trouble, okay? And he said yes. And so yeah, in other words, after I put the chapter down, I'm like, you should like people who actually solve problems and not just flex of whatever... Uh, however diverse they are, however they beat the inequality, or the equality, how they beat the equality of just being a normal person, how many ways they beat that. It's like, wow. If you're an influencer, it's it's fine to be unequal, but if you're just a normal person, and for me, these, these guys are normal, all right, because I don't know who they are. To be an influencer, you have to truly shove your face. And I cannot just drive past you. Like, you pick up the scent that I'm driving past and I have some free free space somewhere. And then your face pops in the corner somewhere and just stays there. Stays there forever. It's like, it would take up a, a chunk of this screen because I clicked on this video. Now, like, I have to delete it somehow. In a homophobic fashion, it's like a, a pop-up window would pop up. Be like, are you truly a homophobe? Why would you delete these guys? They're influencers. You should watch their video right now. And then I would have to type, right now I can't. I'm reviewing Ludwig and all that stuff. You know, it would be a, an amazing experience, I would imagine. That's what an influencer looks like. You can't dodge it that easily. Or I'm just rambling like an idiot at this point, and people will hate me even more. God damn it. Also, they're winning. See? See how unfair it is? Everyone would girls know that they're anchored to some uh, fantasy object, basically. And they can't move and get points of any kind. See, they're cheating, too. That's being a man privilege. Winning games faster. Another thing that just pisses me off about gay people. Right, I know I, I overextended my welcome to talk about it, but uh, it's two dudes. If they go insane, if uh, they feel like shit, like it's a gang of people that can do a lot of damage basically. If they become unstable, like, girls, lesbians, I don't give a fuck. I can, I can watch that and be like, ah, there's nothing really sexual going on about lesbians, but, like, gay men is, like, uh, the standard, all right? The standard thing you wanna, you wanna find, right? Or, or you gonna find. It's so weird. So weird. 
So, uh, yeah, if, if it does make them deviate from uh, just into a mental illness, it's going to be so much amplified and so, so much d damaging to society. I, I can't even imagine it. That's what I would look for. Oh, yeah, and then the basic damage to society is like, well, how do you have children then? All right, lesbians can actually have it with no problem, but the key's not so much. But still, it's not really a problem because it doesn't fucking matter, right? That doesn't matter. Yes, you can adopt, but uh, the most important part, men are not, not very needed in society to make babies. All right, I'm just saying you can impreg impregnate and move on with your life. All right, go grab some milk, daddy. But uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm just talking about psychological things and uh, just how diversity does not work and just trigger people for no good reason. All right, now that now that you have, uh, I would say. I would say actually influencers are not allowed to do this because this is controversial. They're not supposed to do controversial things or uh, project controversial things to society. Then it's too easy to judge them from that point. Then they ha have created an identity that they probably is unsustainable identity and it's very dangerous to society because again, they can just snap and turn against society all of a sudden because they they're getting criticized for something they that they they don't know how to fix anymore see like this is serious shit and uh, i give ludwig finally the seal of approval for even being in the same room as, as these guys which creates dread but i i still cannot give it high five because it it's sexual and I, I'm pretty sure Ludwig has just masturbated again. One, two, three. Still a positive score. No, how, like me. Now I'm gonna reverse the conversation and actually say something nice about gays and the only thing I, that I came up with su Super Mario Bros. You know, bros could be so close that they're like, okay we have to team up basically. All right, forever, for the rest of our lives. But you should still remain mostly straight, even if you team up. And uh, also, assholes are very shitty, guys. I, I don't know how gays have sex. I just don't know. All right, because I'm not a clean person. It probably takes a lot of work to clean that shit. Now, literally. It's the first time I, I think I've said shit literally in a long time. <laughs> Ludwig's friends, guys. Very nice. Uh, the dread... Should we pull down one point? Well, yes, we should you know, uh, hinder Ludwig's ability to get points, but not from this point. Uh, I'm, I'm just burning Ludwig a little bit more. That's all I'm doing with the dread stuff. But every single five points of dread is just gonna knock him out of the race, because uh, losing one point is, is game over at this point. And then he gets one more. It's the first dread, so it's, it's like zero. You wanna die? Yes, I wanna die. Let's see who wins the die game. Sheesh, I would've been... Again, it does feel like it's uh, it's a little bit of that training going on from Among Us and some other games. Uh, but I'll try and ignore it. Because, like, I know that's, that's what Americans... If they spread bad vibes, like they're going to be weaponized, basically. The best thing to do, obviously, is to make make them do a civil war. I, I don't want them fucking spread out their diseases everywhere. Not just across the internet, but like literally 
with their actions. I, I don't need that shit. So, uh, keep that in mind, guys. If I'll, if I'll in control, uh, I'll make sure that uh, bad things don't happen to me. And w wherever I am attracted to. And right now I don't live in America, so, uh, uh look, please look good while I'm watching. Guaranteed to make me laugh. Interesting. I love when people trigger me like that. They will lose so much reputation if they fail. Anyways, didn't really watch the whole thing because that's not the point. The point is, is that I decided not to watch TikToks with Ludwig. And that's a good thing that I uh, chose to do. Because it's absolutely pointless. Anyways, uh, we're done this evaluation, which is terrible evaluation. Two to four. Four are completely useless. We still have to put it on the board. Congratulations for nothing. He will get eliminated if he gets five terrible evaluations in a row. Also because uh, he guaranteed something. I'll put more dread in here. Just in case. To punish him properly. And maybe this Currently... We have made all the way here. We're approaching the, the big spike, which I still don't know what it is, to be honest. And uh, this must... No, I, I don't know. Chess boxing? Yeah, it should be. But uh, what is this? What kind of event is this? Is this the real Pog Champs? It can be. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, sorry, Tom. This is cringe. What does the mogul even mean? Uh, yeah, so, so cringe. What the fuck, man? So fucking stupid. They have an entire fucking setup. As a YouTuber, you... You're not supposed to do stuff like that, unfortunately. This is too too crazy. Now he's a, you know, elite YouTuber, technically. By doing that. Mogul money? How many uh, episodes does it have? You might ask. And, uh, seven. It's not a big deal. But it is something. See, see, the problem is like it's, it's much easier to set it up online, and you can give the source code to everyone else to like improve the uh, or adapt into their own lives, basically. But this way, well, it's just some weird ass game show where only friends are invited, and no one really gets to participate here and eventually gets cancelled after seven episodes <laughs> we didn't we didn't check how old the last episode is but i i really don't care it's just another cringe thing that rich people do basically all right not not a youtuber on my watch now he's an elite youtuber Oh, okay. So, uh, we're eliminating 225 now. Congratulations. And, uh, I need to do something because he mentioned Bella Porch, and, uh, she's kind of cute. Yeah, I, it's copyrighted, though. But I listen to this as the break point, and I have to add it to my playlist because I don't have it. Bye. 
so his blackjack machine just pumped out a bunch of diamonds? Look at that chest in the corner. Stacks of diamonds. That's what I imagined the story is. He never really explained. But, uh, or I, maybe I skipped. I don't know. But it's, it's an interesting thing that you can actually earn money by providing gambling to other people. It's just so weird, right? But the psychological factor is, oh, I want to get rich, so I will waste money to try and get rich. It, it's the weirdest thing that people do, but that's what happens sometimes. Like, it's, val it's valuable p for people... Just, just the idea that they can get rich is so valuable that they're willing, willing to bet on it and lose money on it, on that idea. Even turn a guy into a girl, everybody gets weird. You don't even have to be a girl. You can just look like a girl and then everyone immediately gets weird. It's yeah, I mean, uh, there's uh, two types of comments that are received. One type when I actually made a video about uh, simping for a uh, uh, shoe on head. And then another type hating on Mark Passio. And so uh, I basically kind of got my vibe back. That's kind of uh, the conclusion. Uh, but at the same time, like, women receive those positive vibes and men receive negative vibes it's kind of weird dynamic I, I would say so now from from this point forward i will judge girls a lot harsher also we're almost there we're here at the end is over here oh my god what is happening cat girl oh no that song thing so he has a lot of things but a lot of series going on that he probably didn't even feature in the playlist section i cannot click on it or my progress will be reset um uh, okay so where are we october almost there Almost there, guys. The ultimate spike. November to December. Wait, what? Okay. Ending of November. I don't care about the songs. I've experienced that enough times. Is this his most fa uh, popular video? The secret YouTube channel where he just poops? Because uh, he knows how to use Twitch. Oh, whatever, man. Because this 5 million, we barely hit like 3 million uh, recently, too. But like, uh, maybe I've seen 3 million like three times. Well, epic fail, but I, we take those two. Also, Ludwig is very close to. Uh, uh, I've. I was playing Runeterra a little bit, I guess. Close to 2,000. Another milestone. A second milestone in the same video. Very unusual, but let's continue. This. Why is it the first thing they show you in the comments? I don't... Because it's your comment. Suck it up, dude. Why is he confused? That's the real question. Doesn't he understand how YouTube works? It's so hilarious, but whatever. He never looked at his own pee-pee. Also, hi, Jewel. Oh, yeah. Actually, very good score, this, uh, this good video. Epic Rap Papples. 291. Which eliminates... The lowest score of 233 now. Wow. Fascinating. So has that 5 million video been able to draw 
all the attention, basically, to his channel or something, because nothing really stands out. Nothing really happens that I recognize as an event of some kind. I don't understand. There's no way. The internet must be talking left and right. But nothing happened in his channel to capture that. What a lame ass. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Failed attempt, but I am a little bit distracted, I guess. I'm not gonna calculate still. Let's continue. Alright, can they actually be this thing as well? One, two, three. Oh, it is a slight improvement. <sighs> Basically another shooter like Valorant. It should be easy enough for them to to win, right? Unless it's slightly more complicated or allows you to do more things. Like in Unreal Tournament you wouldn't be able to defeat a pro with three noobs. They wouldn't be able to defeat it. There's no way. I would want to see it. But it's an old game now. It's the only one that I can bring up. I'm constantly pumping out new games and I can't relate to them. People. Influencers. Playing shooters. We're officially in the countdown. Nine months. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't feel any spikes. I don't see anything, dude. But I do uh, notice, like, a lot of more videos hit 1 million views. That's about it. So now I'm looking 1.5 maybe million to watch. Kind of. Nah. I don't even. <sighs> let's, let's just uh, get over it. I'm already tired of Ludwig. What that? Well, it can also scream power, like Lithuania. It mostly screams loser. I think That's... That is weird. Calling out Lithuania as power? What? Are you sure, dude? Are you sure about that? <laughs> That's a weird one. I'll give you three points for that. Except, uh, it didn't work out very well. Because uh, I only bump into boring videos and now Ludwig is allegedly running out of ideas. Or you suggest that. Hmm, interesting. I hope he is. Uh, was that evaluation? Kind of, 203. Uh, garbage evaluation. Yeah, now I'm like ridiculously bored. Ridiculously. We're almost there, but yeah, like, this is definitely a wrong way to do it because I overloaded myself with content, man. I can barely survive this. It brings me back to bad old days when I didn't really had an evaluation going on. It was just me watching and watching content for days. So I can review something. It's kinda awkward. Anyways. Here's the final score. 2-6-2. Finally. We have uh Oh, we just... Okay, okay, this one. Two more final evaluations and we're done, basically. It's game over. As it should be. Fascinating. This? This is the most popular video? Because technically Mr. Beast doesn't count. Or he did, took over a channel. Congratulations on that one. Uh, so weird. 
I don't want to watch it, but I kind of have to. Because it's the most popular and still growing. This one just died. Because you, you look into views per hour. It's just gone. The cool thing about evaluations is that I know pretty much exactly how much time I have spent. And in the end, I will tell you guys that statistic and maybe even put it on a thumbnail or something. I don't know. Or title. So I just screwed myself over by saying that. I don't know. <sighs> let's uh, finish the last two and uh, maybe let's prepare. What am I going to watch for the last two? I know I'll be watching at extra speed. Mm hmm. Sure. The button. Let's see his reaction. Why not? Yeah. What? Why would you do that? Is that it? I scammed the government. All right. And then, uh, smash. Uh, just boxing. Okay. Now he's addicted to the button show, apparently. Congratulations. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so we got the, the last eight videos. Here's the hypothesis. People who aim better... Let's see what happens. Two more evaluations incoming, right? Chat. Well, uh... Not... Well, we'll, we'll see, because I will <laughs> still watch at 1.5 speed. I'm <laughs> First thing I so let's see how that works out. It's so boring. It's like, what is the point? What is the entertainment value, dude? I'm just fucking... Question and answer stuff is like, oh my god, man. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't even show the answer? Doesn't even flash the answer? That's so boring. Ah. Look, it's so cringe, I, I can't even describe, dude. We got something juicy, man, with the button game. Uh, it worked out pretty well, because uh, it is a juicy thing and it requires commentators, so he just fits right in there. Fuck yeah, bro. Congratulations, that's your uh, shiny little star moment. The button. Yeah, something I click every single day. I was clicking your button this whole time. Isn't that crazy? And I can reject you anytime. But I don't want to. Because I need to f do the last evaluation. Oh, and what what is uh, kicked out? This one. And finally. Wow, this is such a big difference, right? I Okay, this was the last. When I sped up everything. And focus, potentially. It requires focus. If I, if I play a game, it's just um, impossible. He has to do some incredible... Backflipping storytelling, where crazy shit goes down, and uh, he's not capable of doing that, obviously. Which is kind of disappointing, like I, I thought he would have that capacity. Oh well. The deal. But, I but can, can people appreciate that, uh, you know, the most associated person besides his girlfriend who's not around probably playing with uh, the cat. Not her cat, the cat that has been bought. 
at some point. And uh, his girlfriend doesn't actually show up anymore with Mr. Beast. Okay, I, sh I should link. He's the most linked with Mr. Beast. And it's actually kind of cringe. Oh shit. Ludwig Beast. It is kind of cringe, guys. <laughs> That's your greatest link? Well, it's not cringe, it's the greatest YouTuber of all time, right? Very interesting. Keep it up. Oh, actually, he's linked with chest way more. I lied. I just lied. But I would never dream about chess, okay? That would be the stupidest thing that ever happened to me. I swear. I swear to God. This is another reason why chess is just nonsense. Give us, give us, I would say, six I don't know what they're talking about. They almost win. I mean, they won the most uh, intense, won the most anticipated tug of war. You know, they actually won that. Sorry for spoilers. But it's it's kind of cool. And uh, we still have two more videos left. He scammed the government and uh, aim in real life. Alright, we still have some time, okay. I'm so excited to finish this video. <laughs> I should have split this into three parts, man. It's so ridiculous. It would have allowed me to some breathing room for commentary and all that stuff. And relaxation, I mean, Jesus Christ, it's such a mistake. So I basically took a dump on Ludwig. But he deserves it. As well as most YouTubers, but, you know. I'm sure he can turn it back around. Funny enough, this is actually a similar amount of time. I didn't thought, I thought it was like one hour, one hour and a half. No, similar time too. All right, but uh, now now I'll debate whether I have to split it for sure. This is getting ridiculous. Just a two uh, two and a half. I mean, I can release bullshit videos for two hours, just talking, you know, just a podcast. But this this is supposed to be something a slightly more serious, right? Hypothesis. People this is the most fucked up thing. Better in real life. Aim in real life. And this is the picture he shows. I mean, uh, that is that is hilarious, but very unacceptable. Holy moly. I don't get, man, like, uh, it's a messed up title. I don't know if he explained the rules properly. But, uh, like, the pro gamer who did the best in aiming did not do the best in aiming in real life. Everyone got six points, but there's no, like, real range of things going on. It's just six, seven points. One dude scored seven points. Whatever, bro. It's, it's tough to see, you know, uh, someone failing after uh, a big ass investment but this is what happens to me as well uh, or this video is a failure uh, an absolute total garbage failure do i have a conclusion in the comments maybe and uh, there's a lot of chirping noises in the comments and this is probably five views even though i put a lot of work into it i should uh, play uh, card games instead right now also, happy 2000, Ludwig. And that's all you get, pretty much. Bye. Right? No, not bye. You need a total score? What is that? I don't know what that is. That's so funny. Because 300 is like the benchmark. And he did it barely. By... Just, just like that. Just, just like that. Barely screw. <laughs> what? That is hard to believe. Obviously, it doesn't beat the uh, the high the said high score, but you know, 
it's a high score for a dude, I guess, and uh, for a uh, purely YouTuber personality. Let's put it that way. Uh, it, it's tougher, I would imagine, or I made some mistakes the first time. You never know. But that's what I got so far. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. <laughs>